Hi everyone, it's Chappies Crypto here again with a quick update on the 10K challenge and how to use Discord to place your, your trade setups and also your accountability about um, how to share how our experiences are going so far. So if you're part of the Trade Vets community and you've done the TPO bootcamp or you're logged in or you set up to do the TPO bootcamp, um, and you'd like to have access to the accountability corner, um, please just send me a DM um, and then I'll have a bit of a chat with you and we'll get you set up in there. However, I just the core, core um, part of this video is really about how to show people how to um, place comments within Discord so that it, you can format it. So this is really a formatting in Discord video, which although it's specific to this 10K challenge can be used across any Discord. Uh, the key thing to note, um, the things that I'm gonna show you here are really unique to um, using Discord on a computer because some of these functions don't work on a mobile phone at all. Um, so this is under the assumption that you are using a, a computer to work with Discord. So I've logged in at the moment and I'm looking at the TPO Bootcamp Discord. And then you'll see down the left hand side all the different channels. Uh, so this is just some general information about the 10K um, um, 10k challenge I've got set up. The instructions are up at the top here. If you haven't seen the challenge, I'd encourage you to go back and watch my video about introducing the challenge. However, um, once you've once you've joined the challenge and you're and you've been given access to this channel here, which is the accountability corner, um, this is the place where we the people that are on the challenge are actually placing their trade setups. Um, I'm currently in practice sessions at the moment. I'm starting formally on the 2nd of June, 2nd of August, I should say, um, to celebrate the launch of the live trade trade room. However, I just want to show you how you can place um, your comments and then actually how to make the text bold and how to do a, a new line or a line break. Um, so as an example, I did a trade this morning. I'm, I'm still actually in the middle of doing a session, but I'll just show you how to, If I'm just going to assume for a second that my session's finished. And I want to do a, I want to do a comment that looks like this up here. So you chappies crypto up here and I've, I've placed this comment here yesterday after a trade I did, after some trading sessions I did yesterday. Um, you'll notice here that I've got that section that's in bold. This is just the text, um, and I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click down the bottom here in the message part, and I'm going to type in um, what I've actually done. So in this instance, I did a practice session, and my opening, I'm just going to abbreviate OB for me in this context of this thing is called opening balance. My opening balance was 1,046 and 36 cents. I'm going to separate this with what's called a pipe. The pipe is the 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 character just above the return key on your keyboard. Um, there's a there is a slash and then there's a straight bar up and down. If you hold down the shift and press that button, it gives you a pipe. Um, and then I'm going to do closing balance CB, and my closing balance was one thousand and thirty seven um, and sixty three cents. So I did only did one trade in this session. I'm going to do closing balance again. My profit and loss for that particular session with one trade. Um, was a whole, uh, I think it worked out to be $8, negative $8.73, 8.73, and the return or reduction on that was actually 0.008% return on that particular session. Now, I'm going to, if I want to do a new line now, to so do a new line, and if you just press return, if you press return, it will actually submit that as a comment into the Discord. Um, so there's a little trick that I've learned in Discord. If you hold down the shift key and then press the return, it gives you a new line. If you hold down the shift key and press the return, it gives you another new line. So it's a whole new paragraph, which just breaks up the way to read this a little bit better. So what I like to do now is I like to do a little review and I'm going to do shift return again. And I'll say only took one trade on ETH. Uh, potential break uh, break out to the downside broke structure and short It'd be good if I could spell I've got spell check check a term but it hasn't brought up that for me because uh, I didn't spell it closely enough so structure and short um, it was in profit However, reversed. Um, so what I learned from that, learned to take profits when notice price has been exhausted or supply has been exhausted. So that's my, my post. Now, if I were just to press return there, the whole piece of the text would just be, would just be appear in regular text. Uh, the nice thing you can do now is if I want to make this part up here bold, all you need to do is highlight the text 
Once you highlight it, it brings these special special little um, menu shows up. I can make that bold, italic, straight through, and there's a few other options here as well. Um, and it's just worth playing with that, but what I found to be the most effective, if I just want to make that bold now, you'll notice that it puts those little asterisks either side, and, and Discord's actually used what's called a markup language, and there's a few different um, formatting tools you can do that. Once again, this is unique to using on a desktop. Uh, you can't use these tools in the same way on a mobile. Um, so I'm happy with that now. I'm ready to post that. I'll press return. And there you go. You now you see Chappie's Crypto Post. Nice and bold for that thing we want people to highlight on. And then and just, just my review of that particular trade. I thought I'd like to share that with everyone. That's part of the 10K challenge. And if you generally use Discord, you might like to hopefully you've learned something on how to use Discord to make text bold and also how to put line returns or sorry, a new line, line breaks into your post. Now, if you've made a post and you've realized, oh, I didn't actually format that. It's really simple to come back into Discord again. And when you're in here, you can actually turn off or you can go back and edit your post. So if I go over here on the right hand side here, and you'll notice just here, there's this little edit button. So if I click on that, I press edit, and then you can go back and highlight whatever you like, and then it'll give you an option to edit it or go back and just change your, your post around again. So hopefully you learned something today. Hope you enjoyed that. If you're not already, um, check out the tradevets.com. It's a great website if you're into trading or I'd like to learn how to trade the markets uh, using this concept called trade price opportunity um, or order flow or market profile, um, interchangeable names. Um, I'd really encourage you to check out the tradevets.com and this is I've just shown you how to get access into discord and also how to Post your comments with making with doing some fun some fancy format not that fancy But just making something bold and putting your text on a new line Which just breaks down the commentary a little bit better a bit easier to read. Hope you enjoyed that until next time Appreciate the like down the bottom put any comments you've got and I'll see everyone's part of the 10k challenge along for the ride. Bye